Hey there guys, and welcome back to Control. Um, so we're supposed to be going to talk to Pope again after uh, overriding the directorial override thingy, my bobber, whatever it was that we did to get on the elevator. Uh, but first I wanted to check this, uh, this side mission out, and I think it's through here. Well, he's fucking... Is that Nixon? Yeah, so, uh, got a lot, got a lot done in the last one. Well, I don't know if we got a lot done, but it took a while to get it done, so. I felt like I got a lot done. Track activator. So, huh? so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The Ranger? course must be completed in this specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, <laughs> press the button. Is that all, or? Uh, I always did love obstacle courses. Okay. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, go. Uh, uh, which one? I'll go this way. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. Why? Man, my sensitivity is like super high. Sucks. Jump, Jesse. What are you doing? Fifteen seconds remaining. Personal mod uh, space dodge efficiency, dodge efficiency, health boost. I could probably use actually a health boost. 18%. Let's do it. Um, ammo efficiency. All right. Let's talk with the. Um, I heard the hiss attack of power plant brings up a lot of new questions. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's going Jesse, on, Emily? You made it, and you lifted the internal lockdown. I Let's did. Let's talk, Emily. Yeah. Listen, Emily. 
Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But okay. we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. Successful. I ran away. Grabbed your brother. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Don't give her too Let's much. Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Yeah, oh, looky there. Thanks, Pope. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. Yeah, obviously. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. No, oh, great. And when time comes, I will come calling. I'm in Ati's pocket. Oh, that's done. Alright. Sector elevator. Let's see if we can get down to the research sector. There we go. Okay. Here we are. Oh, hey there, 
Casper, I know you've got some. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. Well. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries. Authored studies of great importance. And in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Okay. Thanks, Casper. I got a feeling you get some... Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Well, they're all floating now. Oh, hi. Oh, goddamn. Two of them? I must shut up you. I got things to watch. I don't want to fight two of them. Son of a bitch. Well, here we go. Here we go. What's up? Can't get through this, can you? Buddies with you too. Huh? Stop trying to leave me down. Uh, I suck. Hey. things up in the environment. Making random shit up. Ugh. Fuck. Okay. Oh shit, what's down here? I'm getting sidetracked. There's stuff up there I want to look at. Let me go back up real quick. What you got for me now, Casper? Okay, synchronicity. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no indefinable casualty. Identifiable casualty. <laughs> okay. Yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen cords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce blank behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Uh, interesting. What do you guys think about synchronicity? And uh, Carl Jung, actually. I don't know much about that guy. We should read up on him. 
Can I look at this, please? Or I just knock it to the fucking ground. Dessert. Oh, hey, it's Dr. Darling's office. Perfect. Let's see if he's home. Knock, knock, Mr. Darling. Should have known better. Let's see what some of your files say. Uh, objects of power and their astral connections. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the blank, an entity or group of entities, so the board that we have little information on or little that I'm allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the blank, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very blank of objects such as the hotline or, or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to blank, but had the connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the blank? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm, or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of that role? Why do we assume this involvement by the blank is a natural fact and not something more blank? That's a good question. I'm not sure we're going to get the answers to all of these. Blop, blop, blop. <laughs> What's going on? We're not tracking your movements. Like, listening to your conversations. Looking rough, Casper. You do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as, uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. Oh, okay. Still Only classified. Classified, not water might pour in and... The hiss. Well, you got, a, got an HRA <clears throat> keeping you afloat. What is the hiss, and though? if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be, uh, quick and painless. Hmm. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're making more. Okay. Um, okay. Something happened to Casper's looking a little disheveled. That's fine. How could you be disheveled with a name like Casper Darling? My AD, ADD can't handle this shit. Telling me to go to parapsychology, so fucking just go to parapsychology, I guess, right? Boop. And I guess we're gonna have to fight. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Yeah, she's closing it off to me, trying to keep me from getting there. That's fine, we'll just go this way. Howdy! Shit! Hey, stop hiding behind that. Okay. <sighs> That's 
there an area I can... What is this? What are you? Holy shit. Oh, hey, look at that. Flame. What? Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid. Yeah. The board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to... Uh, I'm sorry if the... You can, like, fast forward through those if you don't want to watch, but I feel like they're kind of important, so... Uh, anyhow. Alright, what's down here? Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is that? Got more threshold kids. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place. Not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from the more shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fume, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay. Interesting. So this is a uh, astral footage. All oh, this is. So this is where we go whenever we test out our nifty little weapon. Cool. Okay. What the fuck? Oh shit. This is the thing that hitched a ride, huh? Can I just like Okay. That's all I had to do. God damn. Okay. Someone answer, damn it. We need backup down here. Okay. That was going the wrong Marshall, way. Are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We okay. Need to hurry. Yeah. Hurry in. Oh god. Here we go. Fellas. now.
now that the cluster is gone, god damn it. I can deal with this cluster. That's what it was telling me. It wasn't telling me to heal other enemies, it was telling me that clusters heal other enemies. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh god. information is to the... What? Oh. Must have been part of the thing. <laughs> Why is there a giant brain here? Weird me out a little bit. Okay. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the other brother for you. We need to talk. She's got that right. Okay. Exactly. Oh, jeez. For real. Really? thing is for is it for the ability for me to float around that would be super fantastic please give me that okay welcome to the party now marshall is right down the hall how do i get to the hypnosis lab three so i gotta go through parapsychology okay Copy that. Let's go talk to the marshal. <sighs> Where ye be? Claim this point. That way, whenever I inevitably die, just come right back here. There you are. I was starting to worry. She's clearly in charge. Howdy. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Cool. 
appreciate it. Rangers, let her through. Okay. We have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Yeah, I think I need to find, um, I need to go to the hypnosis lab before I do all that. So, uh, I'm going to stop here and I'll pick back up, um, I'll pick back up in the next one to investigate the x-ray light box object of power. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it, it took me a little bit to get this far, so it seems like a good stopping point to me. But uh, anyhow, hope you guys are enjoying this game. I am really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's starting to get more challenging. I'm glad it's not just one of them games that you can fly through, uh, you know, with a lot of ease or whatever. Oh, look, this is adorable. Hello. Yes. No. Uh, um. Anyhow, I, I got I got sidetracked. I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah. No. So I'll pick I'll pick it back up. Um. Uh. In the next one, and we'll we'll see what this X-ray box is is all about. Hopefully, it'll give me the ability to fly. I'm not sure how I would do that. But I, I want to float around like the others. Seems like a lot of fun. But uh. For now, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye.